Ships underwater and over 120 dead after Hurricane Helene ravaged North Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. So where's Joe Biden and Kamala Harris? The only leader to show up was Donald Trump. As you know, our country is in the final weeks of a hard-fought national election. But in a time like this, when a crisis hits, when our fellow citizens cry out in need, none of that matters. We're not talking about politics now. We have to all get together and get this solved. We need a lot of help. They have to have a lot of help down here. We look out for one another. We pull together. We pitch in. We persevere. And we pull it through. And that's why today I've come to Valdosta with large semi-trucks, many of them, filled with relief aid and a tanker truck filled up with gasoline, which they can't get now. And we'll be working to distribute it throughout the day. I just spoke to Elon. I'm getting him. I want to, we want to get Starlink hooked up because they have no communication whatsoever. And Elon, Elon will always come through. Yeah, we know that. These are the things presidents and vice presidents do. So what's the White House doing? Have you reached out to President Biden about federal relief efforts? No, I haven't reached out to him. No, I think he's sleeping right now. Over 100 Americans drowned, and Biden spent the weekend at the beach. Hurricane, Mr. President, why weren't you and Vice President Harris here in Washington commanding this this weekend? I was commanding. I was on the phone for at least two hours yesterday and the day before as well. I command, call the telephone, Is it all my security people. The media was dogging Joe all day about it. Do you wish that you had more resources in North Carolina, knowing what you know now? And do you wish that you spent the weekend here in Washington rather than Delaware? Come on, stop that game. When you have where the Delaware, it's 90 miles from here, okay? And I was on the phone the whole time working on that. And the resources, the question is not whether we get more re This is a list of every resource we're getting in there. But the question is how to get it in. Donald Trump has, a, has accused both of you of ignoring uh, the okay, decision. He's lying. Let me get this straight. He's lying. While Biden was at the beach during the deadliest hurricane of the year, Kamala Harris was hosting fundraisers in California. Days later, she posted a staged photo from Air Force Two. The paper she's writing on is blank, and her earphones aren't plugged in. At least Bush looked out of the window, flying over Katrina. Trump went to Georgia before Biden-Harris. Trump went to East Palestine before Biden-Harris. Trump went to the border before Biden-Harris. Trump spoke to Lake and Riley's family before Biden-Harris, and he spoke to the Afghanistan Gold Star families before Biden-Harris. They say 80% of life's just showing up and Biden and Harris have their own jets. So what's their excuse? They can get anyone in the world on the phone in 30 seconds, but they won't even pick it up. Trump goes to you. Biden and Harris hide from you. Trump shows you that he loves you. Biden and Harris take you for granted. We all know people like that. Over the weekend, Trump showed up at the biggest college football game of the season, Georgia, Alabama, and started slinging chicken nuggets. When they put him on the Jumbotron, the stadium erupted.